Well, a very good evening, everyone, and welcome to Badgers Hill. We're here for the Somerset FA Cup, Pre uh, Premier Cup, Somerset Premier Cup semi-final between Froome Town and Bath City. I'm Michael Powell, alongside Mark Stillman on commentary duties this evening, and Andrew Kersley is also here and will be summarising throughout. It will be a tough encounter for Jerry Gill's men because it's a Froome Town side flying high in the Southern League here at Badgers Hill. I will go through a run through of both sides. Froome Town normally play 3 4 3. We're expecting that to be the case again this evening. Seth Locke, their usual Somerset Premier Cup keeper, is in goal. Back three of Jack Whitcomb, Alex Hallett, and Warren Maidmunt. Martin Lenahan is the right wing back. Joe O'Lothan is the left wing back. Central midfield duo of Alex Monks and Christopher Peck and a front three of James Ollis, Kane Simpson and Rex Manning. Some regulars on the bench for Froome Town made up of Marcus Mapstone, Sam Teal, James Keary, John Davis and Ryan Harley. For Bath City, it's Ryan Clark in goal. They're also playing 3-4-3. Three, three. Back three of Joe Raines, Jack Batten and Dan Ball. Ryan Jones is the right wing back. Elliot Freer is the left wing back. Midfield duo of Omar Holness and Tom Smith. And the front three, as has already been mentioned, Dave Sims Burgess, Cody Cook and Alex Fletcher. The bench for Bar City, Will Fuller, Alfie Andrews, Eddie Jones, Tom Richards and Ethan Cannings. Primetown are playing not in their normal red strip this evening. They're in blue and yellow. Show their support for Ukraine. The current atrocities going on, unfortunately, in the Eastern European nation. Will be Froome Town who get us underway. Rex Manning's the man standing over the kickoff. A place in the Somerset Premier Cup final awaiting the victor. And it is the host Froome Town who get us underway bit of confusion there. A couple of players took the knee, but the game got underway. This long ball is nodded back to his keeper by Reigns. Loose ball breaks to Sims Burgess just inside the Froome half. Still with the formal Yateman out to Jones on the right-hand side. Just to play it into Cook in the area. Shot and it's tipped over the bar by Locke. Excellent first-time shot by Cody Cook. The first time Bath City have gone forwards in this game and they yeah. very nearly took the lead. Yeah, nice move down the right-hand side. Cook taking the ball first time curving slightly in the air having to be tipped over by Locke over his crossbar Freer to take the corner kick goes deep the far post Batten is there to nod it back across goal it's turned goalwards it's off the post and it's eventually hacked away in there it was Sims Burge I think with a follow up effort and Bar City inches away from going in front yeah you feel City should have gone ahead there the ball bouncing around the area I don't think the defence had many ideas where it was only as far as Jones He's dispossessed by Oliso, though. Then possession's gifted back to Bar City with Cook. Goes down under pressure from a couple of defenders and gets a free kick. Here is Holness, who I think he's going to go for goal from the free kick. Strikes it, but strikes it well over Locke's crossbar. Hills it into the area. Sims Burgess flicks it on and Locke can gather the, gather the loose ball. Dream Town keen to get on quickly with the set pieces. Although Maidman's ball forward is poor, though. Batten overruns it. It's now into Manning's in a bit of space, 35 yards out. Forced to check back. He manages to retain possession with a nice little pirouette. Now it's with Monks midway inside the Bar City half. Across to Ollis, maybe a chance for a shot, which he takes on. It's blocked by the back of Reigns, comes back to Ollis. And now it's O'Loughlin on the Froome left. Looks to skip inside Jones, back now to Ollis. Chips a little ball forward for Simpson, but there's a bit too much on it. Will roll behind for a goal kick. Batten gives possession away, though. Here's Ollis coming forward. Looks to play a reverse to Simpson. Gets it on the edge of the area. Looks to pull it back. It's a driving effort that's narrowly over the bar from Rex Manning. That was very close. I would have said no more than a couple of feet over Clark's crossbar. And had it dipped, I think the keeper would have been beaten there. Wheeling back 10 yards from the byline on the varsity right. He does get it near that penalty spot again. It's helped on from Sims Burgess and just wide of the far post via deflection. Freeman's got plenty of bodies back. Gets it towards the penalty spot. Batten just about missed it and it bounces for Simpson, who's allowed to clear. Ryan Harley, who started on Saturday for Froome, which is for only a second start for the club, is uh, going to have an hour or so of this contest. He comes on for the stricken Alex Hallett. 
straight to Maidman, who seems to be well positioned to intercept a lot of the back into Lennon. Really good footwork. Smith just about gets in the way, but Simpson charges down Batten's clearance. And now could bounce kindly for him. He's lucky that Rain's got in the way. Only to Ollis near the corner of the penalty area, and the ball bounced up horribly. And he went on his unfavoured right foot, and he's hacked it over the bar. No, he'd be happy with the way he started. As will Froome Tyne, Danny Greaves. Be able to get good coaching to him. He's a former goalkeeper, or current goalkeeper. He had to play for him in the FA Trophy earlier this season. Freer plays it at Fletcher and he meets it on the half volley just inside the penalty area and he puts it over the top of the bar. Now with Freer on the left hand side, trying to make room. Back to Smith. Holness now, 30 yards out, fairly central. He goes for goal! And it's only just over the top of the bar. A yard or so by it. Omar Holness scored an incredible goal at Clevedon in the first round. That would have been even better. That wasn't far off. Uh, they've averaged over two goals a game in the league. They've won both their Somerset Prep games 2-1 to reach this stage as Fletcher's got it on the left-hand side, plays it across for Cook, heads it into the back of the net. The two lethal front men link up again and Cody Cook, who's got a hat-trick in pre-season, he scored two against Froom in the FA Cup. He's on target again. He was never going to miss a header from two yards. Bow City's leading scorer breaks a deadlock. 43 minutes, Froom nil, Bow City one. Yeah, no better time to score. Just a minute to go to half-time. And uh, Cody Cook, well, I think Froome will be sick to death of seeing him. Scored, as you say, in the friendly and in the FA Cup. And uh, a perfect little header into goal. One for Mannings to give chase. Careered into uh, range, I thought. The City's still in possession with Smith. Threads it in behind to Sims Burgess. Sims Burgess, he's played it back across. Golden Cook, and he's got a second. Really good play from Dave Sims Burgess. Very unselfish, squared it back. And uh, once again, Froome Town are sick of the sight of Cody Cook. Two minutes in the stoppage time at the end of the first half. Froome Town nil, Bath City two. Did really well there. City pressing down this side, and uh, Cook very much that goal poacher, doubling City's total. Reigns. Up on his feet. Yeah, initially started by Smith. Reigns were grateful to see his back up. Really strong challenge. Ever he could have stopped the game, actually. But I thought he was going to, and I was looking back towards Reigns as the ball was, went forwards. So Brown City being clinical with their final few chances this half. Cody Cook has been clinical. And that was the in fact the final action of the first half. The semi Somerset Premier Cup semi-final tie in Brown City have one step in the Final thanks to a brace from Cody Cook. Well, both sides are back out in front of us here, and it will be Tom Smith who gets us underway in the second half. Bar City leading by two goals to nil in this Somerset Premier Cup semi final. So, there have been plenty of West Sides gone as here's Smith 20 yards out going for a shot that clears Badgers Hill and is bouncing into the terraces behind the goal. Inception only goes the way of Reigns, and now with Ball just inside his own half. It's the player diagonal looking for the run of Jones. It's taken off him, I think, by Sims Bridge. Though comes back to Jones, and it's an excellent save by Locke with his feet to divert it wide of the post. Helped on by Ollis to Whitcomb on the halfway line. Looks to come forward, looks to skip him between a couple of players. Plays it onto Mannings. Referee plays advantage. Mannings, ball breaks back to him. Now slides it through for. Simpson, who's onside, brilliant save by Clark, but the loose ball comes to Mannings, who puts it into the back of the net. Town have won back, and 14 minutes into the second half, it might be cup time alive here at Badgers Hill. And so noticeable, that was the first attack they've made that was all the way along the ground, and Mannings breaking through the centre there, fired away with uh, considerable pace into the back of the net to pull one back for the hosts. Another with former Bar City connections. There's plenty of them here at Badgers Hill as Freer takes the corner short to Jones. Back to the corner taker. Swings in across. It's headed goalwards and it's narrowly over the crossbar by Alex Fletcher. It's John Davis coming on and it's going to be Martin Lenahan who makes way. As Reigns does hurl it into the area. It's flicked on by Fletcher, it's helped on by Cook, and it's a yard or so over the crossbar. It's a clever ball in behind, looking at Simpson. On the right, City got numbers back. Simpson's looking for options in the middle, he has to go square to John Davis, 30 yards out, the former Bath man, face from Holness. Threads it through, this is a chance for Froome, it's an inspired interception from uh, 
Reigns. Like Mannings could have got away there. And three minute free kick foul from Cook on Simpson, but that was an opening. Whitcomb wins the ball back via his own throw. And now running near the corner of the penalty area and shanks it over the bar. Plays one over the top for Fletcher. He's held from Maidman. Cuts inside Fletcher. He's got Sims Burgess in room on the right hand side. Manages to find him now. Sims Burgess forced wide from O'Loughlin. And Tesuada win a corner. And the attendance not quite what we thought it was. 5 9 1. Oh, it looks more. Never mind. Anyway, corner City. Ryan Jones to take. Whips into the dangerous area. Fletcher's beaten to it. It's helped back into the danger zone and headed away from Manning. Stream got a man down with a head injury. Davis is going to whip it in right footed. He does. A decent delivery. Ollis is unmarked and he's blocked from Ryan Clark at his near post while Andrew called it. I wish the players had noticed. So predictable that. You could see that Ollis was getting ready to make a run into the box. He's got it near the edge of the penalty. It's flicked on from Peck and Button with a no-nonsense clearance up towards halfway where Fletcher tries to hold off Whitcomb. O'Loughlin wins a follow-up header. Smith brings it under control. City could break. Smith now. Freer's in room on the left-hand side. He's looking to his right to Jones. Still Smith. He goes a goal. It deflects Whitcomb with an acrobatic clearance near his own goal. Manages to get it away. Only to Holness with a raking shot and it's only just flicked over from Locke. That was good, 30, 35 yards out from Omar Holness. A great tip over in the end from Locke. It feels like a sort of gun on a cruiser, gradually getting lower and lower each time. Ryan Jones to take. A high one. Fletcher's in the air, he's beaten to it from Maidman. Harley brings it under control, his own penalty area, try and lead it away for Froome. Tries to switch it, Holness is well placed. Batten had more time than he realised. He's given the ball away and now it's one for Mannings to chase. Holness is coming back. Mannings, the ball's just run behind him. Fortunately for City, but they've still got, got it. Mannings is trying to run the other side of Holness. He's got his arms all over the Jamaican. He goes down in an obvious foul, but whoa. I think City had the luck of the bounce of the ball then. Cody Cook will not uh, cap off his fine performance with a hat-trick. Got two doubles instead against during the season, added to the treble he got here in pre-season last year. He's replaced by Eddie Jones on 81 minutes. Helped over the top from Maidman, an interesting one to Davis on the left-hand side. Ollis is waiting in the middle. Button's come across to check his progress. And again, he's brought him down. Six yards or so from his own goal. Davis, two-man walk, whips it. Ollis is nearly there, good defending though from Sims Burgess back there. Only clear as far as Harley, 30 yards from goal on the right. Tried to flick him behind his Ollis and it's come last off the number 18 and behind the Bar City throw. Now Davis is in a bit of space just inside the Bar City half. Reigns trying to force him wide. Stays up on his feet, Davis. Monks over to the right side. Good ball to Ollis. He could keep it in play near the corner flag. Ollis, he's got options in the middle. He plays a dangerous one across and Reigns is there to cover, fortunately, for Bar City. And Tom Richards is going to come on. Played well in Dave Sims Burgess. I think the last couple of games actually he's been back into the team. He came on at Slough, nearly scored with his first touch. A positive impact against Hemel, and all it's been lacking really from his Barcelona career so far, Andrew, is a goal. The best of it. Clark goes long with a drop kick over to the right hand side. That's it, the final action. Bar City have managed to clinch a place in the Somerset Premier Cup final for the first time in 14 years. Cody Cook's double on 43 minutes and two minutes in the added time effectively killed off the contest. Froome pulled one back through Rex Mannings, who scored in every round of the competition for the Robins. But this is where their journey ends. They'll now be left to concentrate on a promotion to Southern Premier side. Bar City have a date in the final to look forward to. It could be against arch rivals Yeovil Town or local rivals of Dine. We'll wait and see how that tie plays out in two weeks' time. But for now, it's another positive result for Jerry Gill's men. They're now unbeaten in four in all competitions and they've got a showpiece final to look forward to. A good night's work, Andrew. Yep, from City's point of view, it's a victory. It's also a good workout for their players against a very competitive side and they've come through it with no injuries. From Froome's point of view, third time lost in the friendly, lost in the FA Cup, lost in the Somerset Cup and also seeing Hallett being injured, you feel the cost of this game has been somewhat greater for them. But uh, City will have enjoyed this evening. Uh, it keeps that winless streak, win the, um, not beat. losing streak going, I mean to say. And um, that'll be four games on the bounce, and it doesn't matter who your opponents are, that builds confidence in the side 
for what will be surely a pretty difficult game on Saturday down at Eastbourne. Thanks for your company this evening. Michael and myself will be back at Priory Lane on Saturday for the visit of Eastbourne Barrow. Well, City had lost their last three ties against sides two divisions below in this competition, the Taunton, Porton and Bridgewater, but they came to Froome tonight and escaped unscathed in the burst place of Jensen Button. City have revved into the final, cooked the vital ingredient, put City in the mix for a record 25th Somerset Premier Cup success in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much for tuning in this evening from me, Mark Stillman, from Michael Powell and from Andrew Kerslake. We're here at Badgers Hill. It's finished. Room time one, Bar City two.